Honestly, I think Amaya is probably one of the best teammates I've ever played with. She's a passionate player. How we like to run our offense through the middle, she's perfect for it. I think she's a big catalyst to what we want to do. She is just so ambitious and she just really strives to be the best version of herself off the court. And I think it's just kind of a ripple effect to the rest of the team. And that's really what our program wants and needs to be able to build and grow. All of us are volleyball players, but seeing all of that that she has off the court, I think inspires all of us to create an identity outside of volleyball. And she does that really well and kind of sets that standard for all of us. She is so surprising. She's a farmer. She wants to own a farm. Oh, the team loves it. Every morning in the locker room, we're like, what did you do on the farm? And I feel like it's something that she's always wanted. During my senior year of high school, I had to start a project, um, community focused, about something I was interested in. I focused on food insecurity in the very neighborhood that my school was located in. It was a food desert. There weren't a lot of places for people to get fresh produce. So I started just searching for things, like how can I get something started within the community. We decided to build like an urban garden. We worked to incorporate it into the school's food so kids could have more fresh produce. I vowed to myself that I would try to do more of that within college. When I got to Iowa, I met a professor, her name was Sarah Sanders. She connected me with the Office of Sustainability. And so they wanted a social worker who also was just more involved in like the black community so they could figure out ways and help them just live more sustainable lives and like get more access to healthy foods. This is the cool part. This is our greenhouse. This is where we plant and seed everything um, and then let it germinate before we put it in the field. Oh my gosh, I could cry thinking about it. I literally have watched them grow. I've harvested them, and I've distributed them, and we've given them to the different food pantries around Iowa City. There's literally nothing like better than that. The program that I worked for this summer is called Grow Johnson County. It is a nonprofit organization that is based out of the Johnson County Poor Farm. They grow food for the six different food pantries and community banks that they pass out food to. When I applied for the job, I explained to them that I'm a social work major and I want to not only grow food, but I also want to do community outreach. You can make a change in your community just like that, just with a little bit of passion and a little bit of help and hard work. This is my favorite. I accomplished my bucket list thing of driving a tractor. Oh my gosh, that's the most fun thing I've ever done in my life. I haven't had a chance to bring my teammates on the farm with me yet. I hope to bring them out there and help them learn how to harvest and distribute things so they can really see like what I do. I'm so thankful that we have someone who is striving for what they want to do after volleyball. And I think it's just really cool that we have a leader like that to show us kind of how to take those first steps.